So, welcome back again. Right now I'm gonna do a basic test bit of the controller without advanced functions and without forward and reverse. We're just gonna see how we get on really and just to make sure we can at least go in forward. Let's balance our little light there and let's go. Let's grab our controller. It looks like for our car, we're going to need to make a few adapters. So on this one, as you can see, we have this connector for our motors, this connector for our motors coming out. So we need one coming out, one going in. It's fine, not a problem. We just need to make up some connectors. We're going to have the same with our battery connector from the looks of things as well. So it's all going to be, yep, yeah, our battery connector is a free pin. That's all fine. We can lose the standard battery connector and lose the charger. I'm not too worried about that one because we're probably going to be wiring in a new charger anyway. So we can probably de-plug that one, but we shall see. Right, so if you check out the connector pin change, that all you can use that to wire up some adapters as well. I'll show you how to make one up quickly. So we just need two female ends of these plugs. So let me grab my bag of connectors and make sure they fit in okay. Here we go. And So the connectors I actually have in stock, as you might be able to see, this top centre one is slightly centred towards the left, the top. So on my connectors, it's slightly, it's more to the right. So I'm going to need to use the connector pin removal, and change over my males and females on these. So I'll make those up. And you are the same as well. Yeah, it's somewhat frustrating, but we're going to refer back to the connector pin removal video and start making some adapters. Okay, cheers, bye. So here we are back with all the adapters done. So my battery is purely rested in there at the moment because I'm going to give the car a quick test. See our controller's mounted. mounted. We had some old screw holes in there. I don't know if you can really make those out that we've used for that. We had to use our connector and pin removal on pretty much every connector on this car but it worked. So we followed that video. So check out the connector and pin removal and reinstallation video. I need to find a better way to mount the battery on this one. And I've still got the accessories to do, but we are now in place in the car. So I really need to get some better lighting in this garage, but let's give our first push the accelerator a go. That worked. And that was a lot quicker. So yeah. The only difference is on this one is that it used forward and reverse through the R to change between forward and reverse through the RC module control that we've removed. So I still need to wire in forward and reverse. So I'm probably going to call it a night for the night now. So we'll check out next video tomorrow. Okay, bye.